What's up, WordPress nerds? Uh, sorry for no face cam this week. Something's going on with my camera. Not sure what, but we're going to continue on with the video anyway. This week, we're going to be talking about image sizes. We're going to be making sure that we understand how to add image sizes and kind of like what WordPress is doing by default um, and a handful of other things. Uh, if Before we get started with that, though, I want to make sure that I shout out uh, WP Rocket is my favorite caching plugin for WordPress. It does everything from minifying files to statically generating files for you, all sorts of things that are going to make your site uh, really, really fast. Uh, if you end up clicking the link in the description and buying a license, I get a small kickback, but you pay the same price either way. And um, it would help out the channel and just support me while at the same time getting a really great product. So go ahead and check that out if you are interested. Uh, also, I want to make sure that if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you end up liking any of the content along the way, and make sure to comment um, with any questions you might have. All right, so image sizes. So I just have kind of like a blank theme here. We can kind of look, I just have this images theme. We just have a style at CSS, this images index.php that's echoing hello world, and then a functions.php, which we're gonna be working with today. So all I did so far is I activated the theme and I uploaded a single image, this guy right here. And what happened when I uploaded that is I got a entire list of uh, files that we can see right here off to the right hand side. It gave me a 1536 by 1024, 1024 by 683, et cetera, et cetera. And it, it got all the way down to 150 by 150. And for those who've worked with WordPress, you know that these are correlate to the uh, default image sizes that WordPress gives. You always have your fully, fully sized image uh, as well as these default image sizes. Um, two of these, the, the, the next two largest after full are new image sizes that WordPress has added in 5.3. I didn't know this until I actually was doing a little bit of research for this video. Um, but uh, the other ones, we have kind of the thumbnail, medium, and large. And those were default for all the way up until 5.3. And so what we're going to be talking about today is how to create additional sizes that are going to you know, fit your theme and how we can get them into um, the uploads directory and things like that. Uh, but let's take first a look at this WP get registered image subsizes. This is pretty uh, interesting function that you can use to see exactly how your um, what your image sizes are. So we have thumbnail, medium, medium, large and large. Uh, those were pretty, uh, those are default up until recently. And then we added in these two to kind of create that new default list. And so those are pretty darn big. Um, and we could theoretically get rid of them um, if we wanted to. We could uh, unset some of these from the array, but I kind of wanted to go more over the, um, the add image size function. So we're gonna uh, comment this out really quick. Actually, you know what, we're gonna leave it open. Uh, to kind of create a new image size, uh, you need to kind of run it in your functions.php inside of a hook. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be using a net, which just happens every single time I refresh the page. Normally, I would do something after theme setup. So when somebody switches to my theme, then all of these run. You don't want to like ha like re-register these image sizes over and over and over again. But because we're going to be refreshing the page a lot, we're going to be using it on a net. So this function takes in a couple of arguments. Um, the first one is the name of the image size that you want, because we saw over here, everything has a name, medium, large, uh, medium, large, thumbnail, all that kind of good stuff. So what we want to do is we kind of want to namespace our own, and then maybe we could sue like WPC medium, uh, something along those lines that we know is not going to, is not taken up by WordPress automatically because those are reserved names. Um, and then we are going to just make it so, you know, like, cause technically plugins can come in and create image sizes, um, things like that. So we want to prefix it with something that is unique to our, uh, theme here. Uh, the next is a, is a number, an integer that represents the width of the image. So we could say something like 500, it's going to be 500 pixels wide. Now there's other arguments here, like the, the height. Uh, so we could say 500 as well. And then we could do something with the cropping. But for now, let's just take a look at what this first argument is here. 
So width, we can set, see kind of here on, on the right that the name of the image and then dash the dimensions is kind of how these um, uh, images are identified. So we can save this and we can regenerate the image. And I'm gonna be using a little function here. Maybe I can blow this up for us a little bit. Whoa, all right. So inside of here, I can do WP media regenerate. It's gonna ask me, do I wanna regenerate all of these images? And I'm gonna say, yes. And then it says, it's gonna say regenerated one image of one image because that's all I've got. And then what we can see here is now we have another image inside of our directory. We have a 500 by 333. And so that's given us a nice 500 by 33 image. Um, and the reason why that 333 is in there is because, well, when we only specify a width or, and maybe even a height, it's going to scale the image versus crop the image. So it's gonna do its best to keep the dimensions as scaled as possible. And it's going to go off of whatever numbers that it has. So in this case, it only has 500. So it's gonna hard crop or hard resize it down to 500. And then it's going to kind of scale the height accordingly. Now we can say 500 by 500 and let's see what happens there. And let's get rid of this because it's showing up in the CLI, which is frustrating. Um, let's do WP Media Regenerate. We're gonna say yes, regenerated the image. And then now we still have uh, 500 and by, by 333 because you couldn't really crop it down or not, you couldn't scale it down to 500 by 500. So we could get around that. If we really truly needed like a 500 by 500 image, we could just put this third argument to true, which represents whether or not we want to crop the image. So let's regenerate that and say, yes, we come back and now we actually have a 500 and fi by 500 image. It's hard cropped and it's gotten rid of pieces of the image in order to get us that size. So now we have that in there along with all of our other default sizes. But that's not kind of where I wanna end it. Where I wanna kind of end it here is by showing you um, that you can actually, instead of passing true or false here, you can pass an array as well. Um, and so let's say we had a really wacky image. We have like 100 by like 2000 and we needed to kind of grab different sections of that. So like um, this array can get um, set to have uh, an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. The first one is the X and then you could specify a section of X. So you can do left, you can do center or you can do right. So it's going to start from the right and it's from the uh, X axis. And then from the Y axis, you can say bottom, you can say center, or you can say top. And so that's gonna be the starting point for the image. So if we were to say like right bottom and we were to regenerate those images, that image, I guess it's just one here. Okay, so we have this 100 by uh, 1280 right here. So we were able to get it um, as tall as we got it. So if you go over, it's just gonna get it, it's not gonna expand the image or anything. We're just, it's just gonna crop it down to whatever its um, maximum height is. And then we're grabbing the right bottom. We're starting from the right bottom of the image. If we were to look at that, the right bottom of the image and then we're going 100 pixels out and then all the pixels tall. So that's where we're getting that kind of section of the image. Now, if we wanted to go from you know the left bottom, we can regenerate that image. And we re-click it and then all of a sudden we're starting from the left bottom, we're going 100 pixels in and then we are cropping that all the way up. So you can kind of see how those um, things can come in handy. Uh, if you don't, if you just, and, and to be clear, when we're just doing true, that's coming from the exact center. So that's center left and center from the um, top. And so that will just grab that middle section. It'll do 100 by 2000, and then that's the image that you'll get. So that's kind of 
another way that you can kind of control this is by adding in this array, which is really handy. So I'd highly recommend going through and checking your image sizes. I'd highly recommend not just throwing in the largest image possible and hoping that WordPress can optimize it for you. Definitely go in and add your image sizes that make sense for your theme, add them into ACF, add them into Gutenberg, add them into wherever you need to add them and enjoy the benefits of having a properly sized image. So I would highly recommend checking this out. I would make sure that it was an after theme setup and that your theme is actively calling it. And what I mean by that is, you know, you know like you have the post thumbnail, um, you can say WPC medium here and it'll show up with whatever we have set up in this image. So, uh, it can be used in all sorts of places where images are used. Uh, just make sure they have this all set up properly. So anyway, I hope this was a little bit illuminating. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to comment and let me know. Make sure to like the video if you found it helpful. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down and leave it a comment. Tell me why. Uh, I always trying to make these videos a little bit better. I'd also like to thank my patrons. Um, we just released our exclusive video. Uh, a week or two ago and it was great. I hope that uh, if you are interested in advanced WordPress tutorials that you go and check out the Patreon. The link is in the description. Well, thank you everybody for watching and I will see you in the next one.